Here's the third one, the seed on verse 18. It says, the seed that fell among the thorns. It represents others who hear God's word, but all too quickly the message is what? It's, it's crowded out. It's crowded out by the worries of this life, the lure of wealth, the desire for other things. And this is, this is the hard, what does it say? So no fruit is produced. No fruit is produced. So there's, there's the soil of pride, there's the soil of problems, and there's this third one, this is the soil of, of priorities, the soil of priorities. See, I, I don't know why, but we wear busy like a badge, don't we? It's like a merit badge. It's like, look at me. You say to somebody, how are you doing? They say, busy? Oh, well, look at you, busy little beaver. Aren't you just mad? Let's just get you, aren't you? You're just a busy little soldier, aren't you? Just let's give you another merit badge. Congratulations, little busy man. I don't know why, but we love to tell people we're so busy. Truthfully, this is, this is free. You can do this with what you want. You, you're as busy as you want to be. Nobody's making you be busy. You know what I love is right now, you decided this was going to be important. This was going to be important, what you're doing right now. You're as busy as you want to be. And I think what happens to us is, <laughs> say, I would read the Bible, but I'm so, anybody? Busy. I'm so busy. I would read the Bible, I'm just so busy, I just, I just don't. I just don't have time. But here's the thing you got to remember. What you prize, you have to prioritize. What you prize, you have got to prioritize. So, like, what do you prize? What's important to you in your life? Think about this for a moment. What's important to you in your life? Is it, is it a priority? Are you taking time for it? It's Valentine's Day. We would, if you have a, a, a significant other, somebody special in your life, okay, and the only time you are prioritizing them is on Valentine's Day, you can say they're your prize, but your priorities are telling them otherwise. It's not that you don't prize them. I can tell you, man, you have family, you have friends. How many times do we say, man, I've got these friends and I just value these friendships and we say, we should get together and you realize, my goodness, we've not gone to lunch, they've not come over to the house, I've not done anything in like a year, okay? I mean, it's I keep saying that, but you, just because you prize it, you've got to make it a priority. You may, you may say, God, God's put a dream in me. How many of us have been given a dream? There's something you want to accomplish in your life, and you're like, yes, but you're not prioritizing it. you got, you got to carve out time. Well, I'm just so busy. I, I, I want to get to that dream. But no, no, you, if it's a prize, you got to make it a priority. Some of you, it's your education. You're like, man, my education is important to me. I, I, I want to further myself. I, I want to have, I, I've got dreams and things I want to do, and my education is part. Guess what? You've got to prioritize that. The same thing is true in our relationship with Jesus. Like, I, I would bet if, you, if, you're watching, if you're watching right now, I'm guessing that you would count Jesus as a prize in your life, okay? But he's not a Cracker Jack prize. He's not a cereal prize. Like, oh, the bottom of the box, what did I get? Oh, I got a cute tattoo. No, no, God, listen, God has to be first. God has to be the chief prize and the chief priority. It's why he said, you can't have no other gods before me. You can't have anything else before me. You can't put that career, that dream, you can't put it before me. That time, your family, you can't put your family before me. Sports, you can't put sports before me. Your, your job, whatever it is you want, you, those things cannot come before me. So what do you prize? Do you prize God? Man, you got to make him a priority. So I want to challenge you with this. I want you to commit. Here's what I want us to do. Commit to 21 in 2021. What if you committed to 21 in 2021? 21 minutes in the word of God every day. We can all do that. Turn to somebody and tell them, I can do that. I can do that. All of us, I don't care how busy you think you are, all of us have 21 minutes. You can find 21 minutes. What would happen in your life if you said, Jesus is my prize, and I'm going to give him 21 minutes of undivided attention. Cultivate the soil of your soul.